Good morning, guys. Um, I am really wiped out, and um, but I I couldn't get up and, and do a full program and edit it and everything. I'm really sorry. You know, the second day is like the worst. I just I'm not sick. I just overdid it. You know, I, I I'm disabled, so I pushed my body a little too far, and I'm sore. That's all. It's nothing serious. So, um, I don't want anybody to, to, you know, to worry that I'm, something's wrong with me. I'm okay. I'm just really sore and, um, was really dehydrated from, like, it was so hot. And, uh, I, my, my muscles are cramping up because, you know, you lose salt when you sweat like that. And my muscles are really cramping up and it was painful. So, I am resting today. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. And, um... I'm just, I'm chilling, and so I'm sorry uh, I'm missing CES tonight, but I just really am in pain, and I wouldn't be able to think well. But I was thinking today, you know, I think people misunderstand uh, salvation, uh, about eternal life being a free gift, and we understand that people reject it. But it's Christians, professing Christians, that always go, uh, it's a free gift, but, right? So they, they don't really get it. They, they really don't understand. It isn't about you. And so what they'll do is they'll try to say, so uh, it's not of works, but if you don't have the works, then it means you weren't really saved because it's evidence that you don't have the spirit and all that. And that's nonsense. The issue is this. I, from my experience, you cannot truly walk the walk until you understand you are a new creature in Christ already. And so the, the point I keep making is you trust Christ. He dwells in you. You died with him. You're buried and you rose again in newness of life. And if you absorb that into your very being and know that that's true, then you can walk in that truth. We were raised up in newness of life. And there's a verse that says, we will be saved through his life. So his death saved us from death. He died, so we don't have to die. We did, This body dies, but we don't. We go on, and then we get a new body. But we're saved through his life. Meaning, we're saved from the presence of sin in the sense of it overwhelming our lives with condemnation and continuing to go back into this vicious circle of self-destruction. Now, the other thing I don't think people get is that just because sin does not damn us eternally any longer does not mean that our actions don't have earthly, temporal consequences. So what people are hearing is, you can just do whatever you want, and, and, and it's all good. No, no, nobody is saying, do wicked things and nothing happens. We're saying that whatever you're doing, good or bad, is not determining whether you're redeemed or not. That has nothing to do with it. But because you are redeemed, we're told, walk in newness of life, walk in the new man, the spirit, not the dead flesh guy. Because the flesh, you can always tell you're walking in it by what you're doing. It only has selfish desires. So when you're giving into these selfish desires, especially self-destructive ones, and even when they're not self-destructive, like it says, those of the flesh do mind things of the flesh. People that get all uh, legalistic about food laws and stuff. That's flesh. They're minding things of the flesh because they don't realize they're complete in Christ. doesn't always mean they're lost. It just means they're weak in the faith. Weak in the faith. Not understanding that they're complete in Christ. That Jesus did it all. And... They're still trying to now, they may have gotten saved, but now they're trying to please God on their own merits. And that, that's not how it works. We're supposed to trust 
Christ for getting saved, walking, staying saved, everything. It's all him. And so I think people are just confused because they think we're saying there's no consequences. We're not saying there's no consequences. Ananias and Sapphira, they lost their lives early. They lied to the Holy Spirit. And that was a consequence. It didn't mean they were damned. It just meant their life ended early. They lost out on whatever reward of serving the Lord they could have achieved. You know, and it is a rewarding life to serve the Lord. It gives you a sense of purpose and fulfillment. And you get an amazing family in the body of Christ. I wish there wasn't as much division. And I'm guilty. I, I wish, you know, I had known this sooner that I could disagree and not be disagreeable. And that, you know, it's okay if if we differ. It doesn't mean people are, you know, they're evil. It's just that's where they are and that we should pray for them and 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 talk things out. But that everybody has their own process. But I really hate there's a lot of division, but I digress. And so the thing is, is when the, we say literally, no, it is by grace. It's all based on what Jesus did. And God counts our faith for righteousness. When we trust what he did, that is salvation. They hear, you just do whatever you want. And, and there's no, con no, nobody's ever said there's no consequences. There are earthly consequences. It says judgment comes on the house of God first. God is not mocked. You reap what you sow. But I will tell you this. When you're not trying to walk in your flesh, your wants aren't the same either. Like just about every uh, believer I know, they want to serve God. They hate this battle they have whatever it is, their particular battle. They hate it. They, they want victory over it. And I'm telling you, if we, if we stay over here without the condemnation, you will get victory. But these things take time because we're going to battle against the flesh until we're out of this, what Paul calls this body of death. So don't get discouraged that you still have battles. That battle and, and your struggle is actually good. Because if, if you were, you know, if you didn't care, I, I'd be worried. But it bothers you. So I, I hope that this maybe clarifies what some of them are against. It's like they think we're saying something we're not saying. And I, I fought this for years, and I don't know why I'm not plainly heard, but um, anyway, it, it's actually getting a little long that I'm rambling, but I'm going to go lay down, and um, I just wanted to record something for you guys that was really on my heart today, and uh, I will pick it up. Uh, I don't know if I'll, if I'll do uh, the full armor of God and complete it Friday or just start it up again Monday, but we'll see how I feel. And um, I will miss you guys. I'm not going to do a live stream tomorrow night. I, I'm way too sore. I already know I'm going to be in a lot of pain. So I'm just going to take this week off with that. However, I will do some videos in the next uh, couple of days. Um, I need to answer some viewer questions I'm behind on. But um, I will see you guys soon. God bless you. Bye.